Hello guys and welcome back to another Respect Development episode. In today's episode we're going to be doing something a little bit on the funnier side. And you'll see right now what I mean. Today we're going to be messing around with audio with animals. If my animals want to... There we go. <laughs> uh, so, so we're going to be messing around with audio for, for different mobs in the game. Um, Fuck. So, so before this gets too annoying, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk away and uh, we'll move on to the tutorial section. Okay, so what you're gonna want to do is go to your resource packs folder again. If you don't know how to get there, go to your options, go to resource packs, and then you can open up your pack folder down here. Uh, once you've done that though, um, then you can go to your assets, then Minecraft, and inside of your Minecraft folder inside of your resource pack, you're gonna wanna make a new folder called sounds. I already have it here cause I was testing it out. Um, and once you've done that, then you can make another folder inside called mob. And inside there is, you could you could add whatever file for whatever animal that you're gonna be adding. Uh, in this case, uh, we're gonna be working on the cow since I already did the chicken. Uh, if, if for the, the different types of mobs, uh, to figure out exactly the, the name of the folder that you need, you're going to end up having to open up your resource pack folder again. So let's open up the pack folder and I'll go there uh, again for you. So so once you've opened up the resource pack folder, you're going to you're going to want to go back to your dot Minecraft. Oh, went back too far. Uh, then you're going to want to go to your assets folder in here. And inside of your assets folder, inside of your dot Minecraft, uh, you're going to want to go to indexes. And inside of indexes, you'll see a bunch of files. So depending on what version of Minecraft you want to change the audio for, you're going to want to open up the corresponding JSON file. In this case, I'm going to be doing 1.16. Um, now I installed Notepad++ just for simplicity, simplicity sakes. Uh, it makes it easier to, to like tell the different, uh, different strings apart or the different uh, phrases apart. We're going to be looking for the cow sounds in this case for me. You could look up whatever mob you want. Uh, you could do this with notepad, regular notepad. I just find notepad plus plus a little bit easier for this uh, situation. I'll, I'll leave the link to notepad plus plus in the description. Uh, again, you could do it with regular, regular notepad or whatever uh, program you have on Mac or Linux. Uh, and you're going to want to do control F. Control F will bring up this uh, text box. I was looking up for I was looking for chicken. I'm gonna be wanting to look for cow this time. Uh, so we're gonna want to find next. And in this case, we have a cow bell. And let me open this up because they'll get cut off if I don't. Uh, that's cow step. That's cow three. Cow step two. Cow step. Okay, so that's just going. Oh, I, I put it in backwards motion. That's why. I, although I think this is the way we want to go. Let's say four, say three, say two, and say one. Say one is the one that I'm going to be changing uh, in my situation, but you could change it for whatever sound variation you want. Uh, you're going to want to remember the name of this file because that's what you're going to need to name your file as later. Uh, so I lost it right now. Whoops, that was my bad. Let me just go like that. Oh, I went to cow milk, uh, but that's fine. Um, so in my case, I'm doing uh, say one for the cow. Uh, and right here again, you could see the the file, the uh, the file system. Uh, you could either you could put it under entity or mob. I'm pretty sure it, it works either way. So we're gonna be entering the 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 cow folder here, and we're gonna be opening up a program called Audacity. Now Audacity, I'll leave the, the link to it in the description, but just so that you have it, um, it it's right here on this site and you can you can click right here on the side for which version of audacity you need so you have it for linux max mac and then window and then it has like the legacy legacy versions of each of the different uh systems and then once you've downloaded it and opened audacity you should see something like this so um once you've downloaded audacity you're gonna want to change your microphone to whichever one is your priority your, pri your priority one <laughs> And then you're going to want to change your uh, output device or what you hear from uh, right here. Uh, just so that way you could test it and make sure that's what you want. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to press the little red uh, record button. Once you record that, then you could say different things or whatever. And then uh, you press the little stop symbol over here. And you could play and button. test out. Once you record that, then you could say different things or whatever. And then uh, 
<laughs> yeah, that's pretty much uh, how Audacity works. It works. It's very simple. It's a very simple program. Uh, it looks complicated just because of the GUI. It's not the nicest, I guess, or most simple way of putting it. Uh, but yeah, and you could highlight to delete sections or whatever you need. So in this case, I'm going to be just saying moo. So if I press the record, moo. And there we go. Now I can just move. Moo. Perfect. That's all I need. And now what all I have to do is delete everything before, everything after. Actually, I could probably cut off a little bit more on the on the, the front. Um and then once I've done that, you're gonna want to go up to the top left, file, export as an OGG. Now, uh, OGG is what Minecraft uses for their sounds. In this case, again, I'm doing cow, or save one for, for the cow. Uh, and we'll just save it there. Now, once you've done that, you can pretty much just close out of Audacity. You don't need to, you don't need to do it. Uh, you could save it if you want. You don't have to, though, uh, if you're not planning on going back to changing the sound. Uh, so once I've done save one, you could just drop it in here. Uh, inside of your cow folder or whatever mob you're doing. Again, I had chicken and I did it there. So I have save one there and then I have save one for, for cow. Uh, once you've done that, you could go back to Minecraft. You're going to want to load up your text pack or if you already have it loaded, uh, refresh it. Now, once you've done that, you can summon whatever mob it is. I'm just going to look it up. <laughs> uh, Oh, this one said it. It was very faint. Moo. Oh, there we go. Moo. <laughs> but there you go. You could you could pretty much do the exact same thing to uh, any other mob in Minecraft. It's a very very simple thing. It's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, of course you could up upload like actual sounds. Uh, it doesn't have to be Fuck. a joke like my chicken or cows. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you guys enjoyed the tutorial, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be uploading more episodes of the Resource Pack Development series uh, in the future. Again, thank you so much. I'll see you guys later.